for uh, diffractions of light wave, we have two experiments. The first one is called a pinhole experiment. Huh? So pinhole experiment, we use the monochromatic light. Monochromatic light is the light of one color. Okay, we let the light uh, passes through the pinhole, and then we found that uh, the light is diffracted, and the diffraction pattern is made up of alternate bright and dark ring for the pinhole experiments. It looks something like this. Uh, this is the monochromatic light. Eh? Monochromatic light is a light with one color. In this one, in this case, we use green color. Okay, so this green light it passes through the pinhole. We have a pinhole here. Okay, this one, this is a pinhole. So uh, the light passes through the pinhole, it will diffract, spread to a wider area, okay? And uh, due to certain reasons, you can see a bright and dark uh, band or dark and bright ring on the screen due to the diffractions, eh? okay? Due to the diffractions. In exam, they will ask you, yeah, which which of the following is the patterns of the diffractions of a pinhole experiments? Okay, so this is a pinhole experiments. You need to know the patterns, uh, the patterns of the, the diffractions. Uh, another experiments that you need to know is the single slit experiments. Uh, single slit experiments. Single slit means one slit, uh, just one slit. Okay, the single slit experiments. Uh, again, the diffraction pattern is made up of bright bands and dark bands. Uh, but uh, the dark and bright bands has different width. So this is the slit. Well, let me label it. This is the slit. Okay. And since uh, we, all, we have only one slit, so we call it single slit. Because uh, after this, uh, in next lessons, we are going to discuss interference. Uh. In the interference, we have a double slit experiment. It's different. Uh. This is single slit experiment. We have another experiment called the, the, the double slit experiments. So uh, the monochromatic light, it passes through the single slit and then it spread to a wider area due to diffractions, okay? And due to certain reasons, which you don't need to know in SVM, eh? okay? Uh, you get this uh, bright and dark band. You get this bright and dark band, okay? It's important to you for you to know that, okay? In the middles here, Okay, it should be a bright band. Eh? In the middle should be a bright band. Here should be bright. Okay, because in exam, uh, usually it's objective question. They will give you a few uh, patterns eh? and then they ask you which one is correct. Uh, sometimes they will give you something which is similar, but the dark band in the middle. That is not correct for a single slit experiment. For single slit experiments, eh? Uh, the bright band should, should be in the middle, okay? And then you can see that the bright band in the middle is much bigger than the band at the side, right? This one is bigger than this one. Actually, actually this, one this one should be bigger than this one as well. And also, uh, this is the brightest. Eh? This is the brightest and the brightness decrease. Eh? The brightness decrease uh, from, the, from center to the side. So the central band is wider and brighter. That's, that's what you need to know, eh? okay? Uh, the diffraction patterns obtained will be clearer if the size of the slit decreases. This one, if you use a smaller size, uh, a smaller size of the slit, uh, then you will get a clearer pictures of the this uh, diffract diffracted light. But the brightness will reduce. Uh, if you use uh, a slit with a smaller size, uh, the brightness will reduce, uh, but the band will be clearer. It will be very clear. Okay, if you use a smaller slit. Uh, this is also something that you, that you need to know, eh? okay? If you reduce the, the size of the slit, eh, uh, you will get a clearer uh, patterns or clearer image here. Uh, condition for diffractions to take place. Eh? Uh, this is for light, diffractions of light. Eh? Diffractions of light to take place. Okay. There are two requirements. Two requirements for the diffractions of light. Eh? First, you must use a monochromatic light. Light source must be monochromatic. Mono means one. Eh? Mono means one. So what is monochromatic? Monochromatic is the light with only one wavelength or one color. Okay, one wavelength or one color. 
uh, because some light it may have different color. For example, is a white white light. White light it can has it has seven color, right? Seven color. Uh, then you cannot use white light for this uh, experiments of diffractions. Eh? You, you you can only use monochromatic light. You, if you use white lights, it, it still diffract the patterns eh, of the diffracted light. You can see many color, okay. uh, many color in the in on the, on the screen. Eh? And then you can't see the patterns clearly. If you want to see the patterns clearly, then you must use a monochromatic light. Uh, this is the first requirement. Second, eh, the size of the slit must be small. Okay, that is because eh, that is because. The wavelength of light the wavelength of the light is very very small the wavelength of the light is very very small so if you use a, a big slit there eh, a big slit eh, then you can not see clearly the patterns okay if you want to see the patterns clearly then you must use a small slit Okay, as I show you just now, okay, let me see where is the, the as you can see, eh, if the size of the slit is very big, eh, okay, then the patterns of the diffractions is not clear. Yeah, you can see a clear uh, patterns of diffractions of light if the size of the slit is very big. So, so for light, eh, you must use a very, very small slit. Okay, it must be very, very small slit. Conditions to take, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the two requirements. Eh? These are the two requirements for uh, diffractions to occur or diffractions to take place. Okay, factors affecting the patterns of diffractions of light. Eh? This is diffractions of light. Patterns affected, affecting the patterns of diffractions of light. Uh, there are three factors. Eh? Size of the opening. Uh, so size of the slit, color of the light, and distance of the screen from the slit. Three factors affect the diffractions of light. Okay, I will discuss this one by one. Okay, let's discuss the first one. Eh? Uh, this one I use purple light. Purple light. And then um, effects of the size of the slit on uh, diffractions patterns. Uh, the first one, the slit is very small. Okay, we have a very narrow slit, and uh, the second one we have a bigger slit, and the last one we have a white slit. So let me draw it again. Eh? So the first case is a very narrow slit, the second case we have a medium slit, and the third case we have a white slit. White slit, eh? uh, and then uh, from here, okay, we, we can see that if you have a narrow slit, the angles of diffractions will be bigger. Okay, it diffracted more. Eh? It diffracts to a bigger angles, eh? and uh, therefore the size of the band is bigger. Size of the band is bigger. So this one, this one, uh, the angles of diffractions is bigger, and if the uh, size of the slit is white, it's very big slit. Uh, then you will get something like this. So the size of the bands will be uh, much smaller and the angles of diffractions is also smaller. So angles of diffraction smaller. If the size of the slit is big. So conclusions. The smaller the size of the slit, the greater the effects of diffractions. Eh? Okay, and then we see the second experiment. Okay, so uh, this one we use different color. This one we use different color, purple, green, and red. And then we found that the dif the angle for angles of diffractions, uh, uh, the red lights has a greater angles of diffractions compared to green and purple, green and purple. Eh? And this is due to the wavelength. This is due to the wavelength. Eh? So, uh, red red light has the longest wavelength, and uh, the purple light has the shortest wavelength. And a uh, green light is in the middle. If you memorize, if you memorize the colors of the rainbow, then you should know this. Eh? Okay, so the colors of the rainbow is from red to purple. Eh? Red has longest wavelength. Purple has shortest wavelength. And just now we learned that uh, the magnitude of the diffraction is affected by wavelength, right? 
okay magnitude of diffraction is affected by the wavelength eh? the bigger the wavelength the more the diffractions of the wave so red light it has longer wavelength and therefore is diffracted more and therefore the angle of the diffractions is bigger so this is also something that you need to know eh? the last factor is the effects of the distance of the screen from the slit uh, this is something like this, eh? something like this. Let me give you this. The experiment is like this. This is a slit, and we have a screen here. So when the light hit the slit, uh, let me use another color. So when the light hit the slit, it will spread to a wider area. So then you can see the patterns of the diffracted light here. So this is the first case. Now in the second case, if you use you use the same slit, okay, but uh, you put your screens closer, okay, the same screen, you put it closer. What happened is that the light hit the slit, and then it spread. Okay, it spread, and then you will find that the the patterns of the diffractions here will be smaller compared to this one. This one, the screen is further from the slit. Eh? This one, is the, the screen is closer to the slit. So you will find that this one, eh, the patterns of the diffracted lights will be uh, bigger compared to this one. Okay, because this is closer. So this is exactly uh, what we get. That is this one, okay? So if it's very far away, okay, you will find that... Uh, the band is also very far away, but if the screen is very near, uh, then you will get something like this. It's very close to each other. Okay, so effects of the distance of the screen from the slit. Eh? So conclusion, the further the screen from the slit, the further the distance between the bright bands forms on the screen. Uh, this usually this, this will come up with objective questions. Eh? They will ask, they give you a, 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 a patterns of this uh, diffracted light. Okay, then they will ask you uh, which one will be the correct patterns of the diffracted light if the screen is moved closer. Okay, let's say they give you this one. If the screen moves closer, it will become this. If the screen moves further, then it will become like this.